Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. So good to see all of our runners out there. Hope you guys are ready to get your race on today. We made great progress in our training this month, all of which are showing us about real commitment. Now, commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. It takes a lot of commitment to train for a race. You have to be prepared, you have to practice. And the same thing is true about our relationship with God. You need to make a plan to grow in your, our relationship with God. You do that by reading the Bible, by spending time with Him in prayer. And today we're going to add another really cool part of the plan, all right? We're going to train our mind a little bit today, guys. Uh, on the screen, you're going to see a, a, a graphic come up that has a category, okay? And then right after you see the category, there's going to be a letter, letter that pops up. And you're going to have to guess very quickly uh, something that starts with that letter, okay, that goes with that category. I'll show you what I mean in a second. All right, and you guys are going to be racing against me because I'm pretty quick, I'm pretty fast, I'm pretty smart, maybe. Uh, but we'll see who can guess what, what one item the quickest, the fastest. All right, you guys ready to go? All right, here we go. First category is snack food. All right, snack food and the letter B. Okay, snack food, letter B. Um, 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 biscuit, that's not a snack food. Uh, um, banana, 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 banana. Did I beat you? I don't know. You have to be honest with me in the comment section and let me know if you guys won that one or not. But that's how it's gonna go. You guys ready for the second one? All right, here we go. Second category is cartoon character. All right, and our letter is the letter O. Uh, I gotta get my friends to help me out. I don't know. Uh, uh, Otis? Who's Otis? Was he from? They said Otis, I don't know if I'm right. Are you guys, you can't think of anybody, Otis? I don't know, you probably won this one. I, I, Otis from what movie, what show? Clear! All right! We're <laughs> four animals, okay. All right, here we go, let's try it again. Next category, here we go. Uh, a three syllable word. Oh, they got too technical on me with this one. Starting with the letter H. Uh, I gotta bring out the claps, that's what it is. Uh, uh, half, eat, no, it's two. <laughs> um, um, uh, hallelujah, no, it's too much. Uh, hello, copter, is that three? Hello, hello, no, it's two. Hello, copter. Holiday, yes, yes, I'm getting a lot of help from our friends. I hope you guys, maybe your mom and dad's helping you guys out as well. Uh, holiday, that was it. I don't know, you guys, did you win? Maybe. All right, here we go, let's see. All right, next category, a boy's name with the letter S. Sam, gotcha. I was, I was really quick. I saw it ahead of time. I, I probably really, I, I cheated. A little bit. I'm sorry, guys. All right, let's try another one. Here we go. Uh, category, animal that flies. And the letter is W. S wasp, wasp, they fly. That's it. All right, let's try one more. You ready? All right, last one. Here we go. Category is Something found in a zoo. The letter we're looking for is L. Lion, lion, lion. Ah, all right, here we go. That was good, that was good. Let me know in the comment section, guys, uh, how you did. Did you beat me? You probably did, because you guys are really smart. Uh, but we've had an amazing day so far. I think you guys are officially race ready now. And we are nice and warmed up, just in time for worship. Let's go.
When Jesus was here on earth, people often asked him questions, but sometimes he was the one who asked the questions. In fact, there was one time when Jesus and his disciples had traveled from Galilee to Caesarea Philippi, and Jesus asked them a very important question. Let's check it out in today's Bible story. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 through 20. Jesus and his 12 closest friends walked along the dusty road from Galilee to the town of Caesarea Philippi. Perhaps Peter walked with James and John. Philippi? Seems out of the way. Uh, maybe that's the point. A little peace and quiet? Jesus can't take two steps in Galilee without a thousand people showing up. Yeah, they say he's... Well, I've heard everything. Peter stared at the high hills ahead one of which was home to a deep cavern said to be the birthplace of a Greek god. Philippi was filled with monuments and temples to other fake gods. Peter? What? Oh. Peter looked around. Jesus and his other friends had stopped under a shady tree. Peter, James, and John stepped off the road to join them. Water break. As his disciples rested, Jesus turned and faced them. Perhaps he knew that here, near Philippi, where so many people believed in false gods, it was important that his disciples knew and spoke the truth. Who do people say the Son of Man is? Jesus' friends understood that when he said Son of Man, he meant himself. Some people say that you're John the Baptist. What people? Hello, John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin. Well, that's what they say, just saying. Well, some people say you're Elijah or Jeremiah. Yeah, or one of the prophets. People had been comparing Jesus to many important figures in Jewish history. Men who called the nation to repent. Men who did miracles. Men who spoke the word of God. But Jesus was so much more than that. What about you? Who do you say that I am? As Jesus looked squarely at his disciples, they fidgeted. They had seen Jesus feed thousands of people from one boy's lunch. They'd seen him heal countless sick people. They'd seen him command evil spirits to leave. They knew Jesus was special. But it's one thing to think something and another to say it. Peter, as usual, was the one to take the leap. You are the Messiah. You are the son of the living God. Jesus smiled. Blessed are you, Simon. No mere human showed this to you. My Father in heaven showed it to you. Here's what I tell you. You are Peter. Jesus was giving Simon a new identity. Peter means stone, something strong and sturdy. Jesus continued. On this rock, I will build my church. The gates of hell will not be strong enough to destroy it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. What you lock on earth will be locked in heaven. What you unlock on earth will be unlocked in heaven. The disciples were amazed. Teacher's pet. Hey, we were all thinking it. And I don't know, the whole locking and unlocking thing sounds like a really big responsibility. Jesus knew there were things that would take his friends a while to understand. So he told them. Do not tell anyone yet that I am the Messiah. Okay. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Peter had the courage to speak what he knew to be true. And when the time was right, he would share it with everyone he met. For now, it was great that Peter had the courage to speak what he knew to be true among his friends. And when the time was right, he would go on to share the truth about Jesus with everyone that he met. You and I can talk about what we believe, just like Peter did. We can share the truth of who Jesus is. We can talk with each other about God and ask questions when there's something that we don't understand. 
Talking about God is an important part of our training program. And so our bottom line statement is today, practice talking about God. That's what we get to do every week here at Quest Kids and Quest Kids Online. We get to practice talking about God with each other. How cool is that? Let's ask God to help us practice talking about Him. You guys ready? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for letting us hear about this important conversation between Jesus and his friends. It's really cool how Peter had the courage to speak the truth that Jesus is your son and our savior. Please help us be courageous like Peter. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, so good to be with you guys again today. Can't wait to see you next week, Quest Kids Online.